morning everybody and happy Tuesday. So today we are back recapping the letters and signs that we have previously learnt, just to double check that we definitely know them. So today we are doing digraph th, digraph l and digraph l. We're going to be recognising them, reading them in words and writing them in words across the week. So let's get going. Say hello to Rex. Okay. If you haven't already, you will need to go back and have a look at the video or the PowerPoint of the Are You Ready recap sounds. These are all the letters and signs that we have learnt so far across phase two and phase three. We need to make sure we keep practising them over and over and again so they become really familiar to us. So if we haven't already done that, you need to pause the video now and then come back. Otherwise, let's get cracking. So, we are practising some sounds we have learnt before. Now, we practised phase two and phase three sounds again in the spring term um, before we move on to, did I say phase two and phase three? I meant phase two and phase three, before we move on to phase four in the summer term. So, today we are practising digraph th, digraph s, digraph l, and then l on its own. Now, do you remember what a digraph is? Hmm, I wonder. Yes, a digraph is two letters that make one sound. So you've got two letters here, you've got s and s, but you don't say them twice, you only say them once. So you say s, okay? Now, we normally find digraph th, digraph t, and digraph l in the middle or at the end of a word. Now, if the stage that we're at with our phonics, you will find them at the end of a word. Whereas the l sound, you can find that one at the beginning as well. That's a little clue for the work that we're going to do later. Right then. I wonder whether you can spot the digraph or the sound that I'm asking you to look for in this word. You do not need to read these words. I will read it to you. So listen out. H, I, S, hiss. Can you please put your finger on digraph s for me? Yes, that's right. It's this one, isn't it? Good job. Okay. L oop loop. Can you please put your finger on the l sound? That's it. It's this one, isn't it? Good job. Okay. Next one. D a l doll. Can you please put your finger on the digraph l? Super. That's this one, isn't it? Okay. And we've got. A uh, huff. Can you please put your finger on digraph th for me? That's this one, isn't it? Good job. Well done. Okay, well done. Now we are going to read them in some words. So I'm going to give you some time. I would like you to use your Rex robot arms and I would like you to have a go at blending the sounds to read the words first. Okay, off you go. My turn. I, s, hiss, hiss. Which sound does this word have? That's right, it has the s sound, doesn't it? Okay, next one, your turn. My turn. L, oop, loop. L, oop, loop. What sound does this one have? That's right, it has the l sound, isn't it? Okay, next one. Your go. And my turn. D a l doll. D a l doll. Which sound does this one have? Yeah, well done. It has digraph l. And this one. Your turn. And my turn. A uh, huff. A uh, huff. Which sound does this word have? Super. It has digraph, doesn't it? Okay, well done. Now we are going to have a look if we can choose the correct spelling for the word. So we'll do this one together. Have a look at the picture because that will tell you a clue at what the word is that we're looking for. So I will blend them. Ready? I, s, hiss. Hiss. And then this word, h, i, th, hiff, hiff. 
Which one do you think is correct to match this picture? Is it h, his, or is it h, if, hif? Can you point to the right one? And let's see if you're right. Of course, it's hiss, isn't it? A snake makes a hiss sound. Okay, now it's your turn. So if you have a printer at home, you could have printed this sheet out and use a pencil to circle the correct spelling. Otherwise, you can stay with the screen, just point to the one that you think it is. Now we're going to blend the sounds together. So you need to be using your Rex robot arms and you need to be listening to me and going along with me at the same time. Okay, are you ready? So we've just done this one, haven't we? So which one do you think it is? Do you think it's is his or do you think it's if hif? Which one do you think it is? Let's see. Good job. That's right. It's hiss, isn't it? Okay. Do you remember what word matched this picture? It was loop, wasn't it? Loop. Okay. Let's have a look. K -u -p coop. L -oop loop. Is it coop or is it loop? Which one do you think it is? Okay. Let's see if you were right. Good job. Right then, next one. Let's have a look at the picture. What word matches this picture? Yes, that's right. It's doll, isn't it? Okay, so let's have a read. D -a -s -dos -dos -d -a -l doll. Doll. Is it dos or is it doll? Point to which one you think it is. Let's see if you're right. Good job. That's right. It's doll with the digraph l at the end. Good job. Okay. Now look at this picture. What word do you think matches this picture? Of course, it's huff, isn't it? The wolf. Huff, sunny, puff, sunny, blows the house down. Okay, let's get ready to read. Uh, huff or uh, l, hull. Huff or hull. Which one do you think it is? Can you point to it? Let's see if you're right. Good job. Of course it is. It's huff, isn't it? Right then. Now we haven't used these pictures yet. So I will tell you what the sound is. So this one, sorry, not what the sound is, what the word is. So this one is pass. Okay, let's read. P -a -s -path or p -a -s -pass. Path or or pass? Which one do you think it is? Let's see if you're right. Good job everyone. Okay, now this is going to be, can you have a guess? It's lock, isn't it? Good job. Okay. L-O-C lock or L-O-C lock. Now they both sound the same, but do they both look the same? They don't, do they? This one's got a digraph L at the beginning. Now, remember what we said. Do we ever use digraph L s, or f at the beginning of a word? Hmm. Which one do you think it is? Do you think it's the singular, the L on its own, or do you think it's digraph L? Point to the one that you think it is. Let's see if you're right. Good job, everybody. Of course, we do not use digraph L at the beginning of a word, do we? Okay, this one. Now, what do you think? What do you think the word is? It's this green thing here. That's right. It's hill, isn't it? Okay, let's get reading. If hiff or i l hill hill hiff or hill. Which one do you think it is? Okay, let's see if you were right. Good job, everyone. Super. Okay, last one. Now, this was one of our high frequency words last week. This is off, off. And there's a little bit of a clue in the picture that tells you how it's spelt. So, this is our high frequency word, of. And this is how our high frequency word, off. Which one do you think it is? Of or off? Point to the one you think it is. And let's see if you were right. Good job. It actually says it down here, doesn't it? little cheat there little hack okay next super duper fabulous reading well done 
Okay, let's have a look at this word. You need your Rex robot arms. You're going to sound it out. Are you ready? T, I, L, till. What sound does this word have? Till. Does it have digraphs? Digraph, L, digraph, F, or L? Which one does it have? That's right, it has digraph l. Wow, then. Okay, next one. Let's try this one. F, I, F, Biff. Biff. Now, does Biff have digraphs? Digraph. Digraph l or l. Which one does it have? Yes, of course, it has digraph. Good job, everybody. You are great. So we will see you tomorrow to recap a little bit more with our four signs and letters that we've been working on today. Have a really lovely day, children. I'll see you tomorrow.